my goodness, it's been so long since I've actually vlogged. I feel like oh, a lot has happened and I'm gonna bring you through a weekend in my life. I hope you guys enjoy. I need to, get, I need to take a shower. So I want to give you guys kind of like a rundown of what happened and why I have two puppies. The other day, Tim and I had four puppies at one point. My mom was helping out this lady one time and then this lady asked my mom basically like, hey, we have a litter of puppies. Does Tim and Alexis want to come see them? Because I know like they're in the market for like getting a puppy, whatever. And so Tim and I are like, oh my gosh, yes, that's awesome. Let's go over, let's go see them. And they are golden retrievers. And so we get to the house and my mom meets us there because it's like her, like she knows her. We get to the house and these poor puppies are outside on a Saturday late morning. It is probably at this point, like I want to say like 89 degrees outside. It was one of the most humid days and these puppies are literally sitting in like a pen. They have cardboard underneath in some parts. They're covered in poop. They're covered in pee. And I look at my mom and I'm like, okay. We need to come up with a game plan because these poor dogs are not going to be just sitting here. And so I was like, mom, you gotta take four. I gotta take four. Um, literally, you guys, we bought four dogs. I bought four dogs. My parents bought four dogs. My parents still have the four dogs. We came home, Tim's parents wanted a dog and then Tim's brother also took one dog. Um, we all like got their vaccinations and like all their shots and stuff. So yeah, that explains why we have two pups but we are only keeping one of them moose just because our house obviously is not big enough to have three dog because I have bear as well, obviously. Guys, truly, it was really like a God moment. I was like, okay, wait, like that day, we did not have to go there. We could have just totally been like, no, never mind. Like we're really not really looking for a golden retriever because at that point, like we wanted a German shepherd, but I was like, you know what? Let's just go look, let's just go whatever. And the fact that like we were there and then we noticed how bad of a situation it was. And also the owner was feeding them adult kibble. You guys, I'll try to include a picture right here, but the kibble was probably the size of a nickel. And then we asked them, we're like, hey, like, you know, like this is adult dog food. And she's like, yeah, well, they're growing up to be adults. I'm like, what? Like, it's like, do you feed a cheeseburger to a baby? Because it's one day gonna be an adult. Like, I don't know. So we're just really happy that they came home with us. They're in a safe home. This is my new favorite deodorant. It doesn't have like harmful, nasty chemicals. Even though honestly, I've been putting makeup on my, my face and there's probably even more chemicals in there. Um, I got this app, Yuka, and apparently it like rates how bad your products that you put on your body are. And the stuff that I was using was like terrible. It, like had all these like harmful chemicals. So I decided to swap those out. And also deodorant, deodorant was a big one. And I don't wanna mess up my endocrine system, but Makeup, I'll start dishing out makeup next, eventually down the line, but I can't part ways right now. So just a little bit of time. All right, here's the fit. We need to put the thing on. <laughs> Target jean jacket, old navy dress. I don't know, every jewels, every jewels, same with that. And then I think the, I got these at Target. Yeah, but I like to take all of them. All of them. You can keep them at the same Target. Really? Really? Uh, <laughs> I don't know about that. You guys heard it first. You guys heard it first. <laughs> Dude, this one's a bite. Ow. Ricky Her likes to bite. This is Ow. Niche. Air jail. Bear, come here. Come here. Bear, come here. Air jail.
just got home from work and we are going to head to the antique store to look for some paintings to put up in our living room because we have this like really big wall and I'm not really sure how we want to style it, but oh, deer head. definitely not deer head. Um, so we shall see what we find there. See, like I like stuff like this. Possible. Okay, this I think is gonna go somewhere. We'll figure it out. I really low key like want this. Right, that was a very successful trip to the antique mall. I'll show you guys what it looks like once we decorate it. Okay, now we are going to Target really quick because I want to pick up a, a game, a board game. Like, stop Target. And now we eat. Good morning, you guys. All right, so it is Saturday. I'm getting ready to go to Life Surge. It's like a Christian leadership type of conference. Um, I'm going with my dad, just me and my dad. So I'm excited. Um, I'm excited for some of you guys. No, I'm really excited because Ed Milet is a speaker there and I like grew up, like not grew up, but like the past probably four years, like I would listen to all of his podcasts, all of his, um, just all of his content and then I kind of fell off but he's gonna be one of the speakers there and my dad also listened to him like religiously so I'm really excited to hear him. Tim Tebow's gonna be there, Pris Priscilla Shear. Tim Tebow's gonna be there, Priscilla Shire, um, Nick V. So I am very excited. It is going to be a long day though. It's pretty much a work day. It's like eight to five so. Um. Okay, also, it would be really bad for me not to mention, but this is definitely one of the best brow products I have put on my freaking face. It is by Maybelline. It is like glue. My brows do not move at all. I want to say it's less than $10. I will leave it in the link down below. All right, this is what I'm wearing. Um, I thrifted this blazer. I got this from Amazon. These are Abercrombie um, trousers, and then I'm going to put on some wedges. Okay, so I am on the way to go pick up my dad and then we're gonna go to the event. Um, I'm sorry that I didn't film a lot this morning. I was in a huge rush. Um, yeah. Hi. Hi. Wow, you guys are tiny. You guys are tiny girls and boys, huh? Who's tiny? Guys, my dad. Dad, do it. I said, uh, "Is Tim Tebow going to talk to me?" He said, "I hope so." I hope so. Okay, so I told Tim that I really want hanging baskets and I got home from my conference and he got me some. And he painted the entire shed. Well, I painted this and this, but he painted that. Aww. 
and he did this when I was gone. That was good. That was a nice little workout. I'm not done. I have a couple more sets to do, but guys, can I just, ah! oh man, I hate stepping on those little pricklers. For a second, just let's just look at this view. It's just so beautiful. Hey, does anyone have recommendations on how to get these weeds out? We used that Roundup and like they literally all came back. Um, nice at the shed. Okay. I'm like huffing and puffing. I'm sorry. Okay. So this was originally, I'm going to insert a picture right now, what it looked like before. Um, these were green, as you can kind of tell, you can see the green kind of, um, yeah. So Tim finished up that window, which is very, very nice of him. And then he also got these planters, which I'm really, really excited. Also, we have our housewarming party, August 17th. So that's gonna be next weekend. I don't know when I'm honestly gonna be getting this um, video up there, but we're really excited about that. And so we're kind of just trying to like finish up as much as we can in the house. Um, I will do a walkthrough later because I wanna show you guys pretty much like the house, like what it looks like right now. Um, there's a lot of stuff we did obviously to it in the span of almost two months. So I do want to give you guys a little overview of that. Look at my baby chickens. Right there. We did also paint this shed. I will insert a clip of what it looked like before, but it was red. And so as you can tell, there's tape that I need to get off here. morning you guys it is sunday i'm going to go on a run i'm gonna try to shoot for five miles we'll see how i feel today um i had ba barely any water yesterday so i feel very very dehydrated but i'm taking g1m sport this is like an endurance carbohydrate what's it called electrolyte formula about one scoop i don't really take the full scoop i don't know why but so Tim is on puppy duty until I get back. It's really bad. I'm getting attached to both of these dogs. Like, it's bad. I can't imagine, honestly, just giving one away. So hopefully Tim's parents are taking um, Herky. We call him Herky. I call him Bam Bam, but Tim calls him Herky. And so... Yeah, I'm getting really sad. I'm getting like really, really attached and I am bad with this kind of stuff. So, um, 
And then I'm like worried, like, okay, well, when Herky leaves, like, is Moose going to have like major anxiety? Like, is, is Moose going to think that, you know, like something happened to the dog? And obviously Moose is going to have Bear, but especially since he's a puppy, like, he can't be out in the open, obviously out of his pen. So like, he really isn't with Bear. Like, he won't be able to play with Bear at least during the day. Um, but Tim comes home during lunch and then I come home like after. So that way, like they get, you know, two spurts with like people and they get to go outside and stuff. So, um, I guess that's good. But do you guys have any tips when this comes to dogs and like separation anxiety? And I'm like freaking out. the run before the run wow the air is like so crisp <laughs> doesn't get much better than that you may not think it's a hill but it's a hill what do you do in the situations where you're encountering a hill you probably slow down, right? No! You have to run up the hill. I'm also very out of breath, obviously, so don't judge me. Um, you cannot slow down your momentum when you encounter challenges or difficulties, okay? Run up the hill. Because you guys, there's always a down. There's always a better side to the hard times, I promise. Okay, we're at four miles right now. I feel good. After my run. And we are off. I just took a shower, blow dried my hair, made my smoothie. We're going to church and then we have a ton of errands to run. I believe I'm gonna make this a separate vlog though because there's a lot that's already in this vlog. And so I'm going to make another one. I have some like really wide feet like I will be the first to definitely admit it um you know I can't help that but like every time I get shoes I swear this always happens and then I'm thinking like okay maybe I need to get a size up but you guys that means like these are nine and a half wides like I'm not even ashamed to say that whatever god gave me big feet um but like It ruins all my shoes. I have to get new shoes all the time. So, does anyone have... Actually, I don't even know why I'm saying this. I think I need to go up to a size 10. Yep. <laughs> Church. Look at us. First one's here. Tim, are you ready to get your praise on? Okay, so now we're at Costco. Whew. Guys, it's been a long morning already. I just wanna go home. <laughs> All right, you guys, so we actually ended up taking out the blue pillows and instead we got some green ones. And so, um, <laughs> <laughs> this is what it looks like. It looks a lot better with the the green ones. The blue ones we just tossed in the guest room and then <laughs> Okay. <laughs> and then here's another one. Um and then I don't think in the video I I showed you that I printed out these three. I don't know if I did actually. I think I did. <laughs> okay. Not a sponsor. All right. Can you can you end the video? Sponsorship opportunities available. Bye guys. Hey.